Hey everybody, this is Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, and this is going to be part one of our Kensington review, and we're going to look at this one, the SD2600T. Uh, we're going to open it up, try it out, right after this. Okay, so the first question you might be wondering is, what is the SD2600T? Well, it's a Thunderbolt 4 Dual uh, 4K Nano Docking Station. So yeah, if you are in the market for one of these, uh, you need a docking station. If you want to set up with like several different monitors, get yourself one of these. Okay, let's just get to the unboxing and just see what exactly we're dealing with here. Because honestly, I don't know. Okay, so let's just pour it out of the box and see what's in here. Nice looking packaging, by the way. Whoa. Okay, it says, we're here for you, and they are. So this is it. Hmm. So I thought this was going to be a lot bigger. Actually, the product itself, the photo is bigger than the actual product itself. I would say I'm disappointed, but maybe I want it to be smaller. Hmm? Well, needless to say, we should probably just get out the plastic. Now, this is where, uh, if this is what I think it is, generally I'm usually kind of getting big on the ports. So uh, let's see what kind of ports we're dealing with here. Okay, I'm seeing a... Uh, okay, so on one side we got... Um, okay, so we've got this thing where we put in the... Uh, basically plug it in. And we got the power button. And then we got the place for uh, the Thunderbolt things. And on the back, looks like we got another USB-C, USB-A with some... I don't know, some things. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. And uh, we'll, we'll check. You know, it might help if we look to see what else is in the box, shall we? Okay. A lot of instructions and a lot of cords, too. Oh, man, what is this? Oh, I cannot tell. But first, I better check out... Aha! I knew it. The power cord, of which we will definitely plug this in at. Should I use that take? I wonder. You know, I'm probably going to use that. Okay, so uh, nothing I can really do but plug this in. And when I do, and of course we've got two of these things because why wouldn't we? Seriously, it seems like everything I uh, want to plug in seems to have a brick uh, function like this uh, because it can. So, where is it? Ah, here it is. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm going to plug this into my computer like this. Okay, side note, uh, I believe I need to plug in the Thunderbolt 4 in here. So, uh, yeah, let's just do that, and let's see. Okay, so here's the deal. Yeah, I realize that this is supposed to uh, connect, like, uh, oh, what is this supposed to do again? It's really strange that I don't know. Okay, so it's a plug-and-play solution for Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 3, or USB-C devices. Uh, so, okay, so it can connect three additional Thunderbolt devices up to five total while providing uh, transfer speeds up to 40 gigabyte GPBS and up to two, uh, dual 4K uh, at 60 Hertz for Thunderbolt 4 host devices. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not sure whether my computer can accommodate this, honestly. I'm using a laptop here. I don't really have anything much more powerful. But I do like how it can do stuff that I like. Okay, so basically if you have uh, uh, monitors that you would like to connect with this and are compatible with this, I highly suggest you use this device. Unfortunately, I wish I could really demonstrate this. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate in the comment section that I'm not able to do a proper demonstration of this. All I can say is like, could you send me like three uh, monitors? I'll gladly do it if you want. All right, I'm not trying to throw shade. I mean, I'm here to demonstrate a product and unbox it. I unbox it and check this out. And um, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna check out something here. All right, I guess what I'm just curious about is uh, I got this thumb drive here. I just want to make sure that my uh, computer can recognize it. I'd like it to. Um, yeah, oh, it looks like it does. So we're good, we're very good. Okay, something really interesting on here is this has a power switch, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, this is the part where it's going to get awkward here, but honestly, I don't really, uh, uh, since I can't really properly demonstrate this, I'm probably going to have to call this a win as far as, like, okay, the review is kind of over right now. I'm going to put more in the article on this. I think that's the best I can do uh, for Kensington now. So, um, anyway, uh, it's been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, and you will see me again doing a Kensington product. Okay, so basically I think the best thing I can do is give a price on this. If you are in the market where you have that kind of a lot of 4K monitors and you want to sync them all, uh, get this. Uh, you should be able to get it for $179.99 on the uh, Kensington site. And uh, yeah. This has been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church. I'm signing off.